Oh shit! Oh, not good. Not good, not good. I came in here thinking that it'd be a safe place to hole up, and uh, it wasn't safe in either. Why aren't you running? Jeez <laughs> Louise. All right, guys, welcome back to Seven Days to Die on Alpha 19 Build 180 Experimental. It is August the 20th, and the Fun Pimps have released Alpha 19 in Stable Branch. What that means for us, and I've uh, you know planned to do this all along, is we're going to start over um, and do a much longer season uh, in Stable, uh, unless you know they release a 19.2 or 3 or 4 requiring a start over. But usually that doesn't happen once Stable is out. Um, but I don't want to end this series without doing Horde Night 42. So it's still uh, getting, you know, coming on the end of day 41. And so what we're going to do two things. We're going to go ahead and do this this school quest, and we'll just do it during the night. Um, so yeah, the school 01 quest. And that is, where is that? That's over back in Trader Hughes Town. Okay. Um, so we're going to do that, but I also figured, what the hell, you know, I was holding out on not, you know, making a new sniper rifle until we got a little higher or, you know, we could find one. But, um, you know, now that we are starting over, we might as well just make it now, even though, you know, there's something, you know what, what just occurred to me? We could do a respec. We could do a respec. If we did, what would we do? I would probably do a, a, a heavy perception and agility build. But we also want, you know, we want to keep our boomstick level 4 too. So the, I guess the question is, do we have enough points to, you know, deck out perception, agility, and at least get boomstick 4 in strength? There's only one way to find out. I mean, the series is pretty much over after 442, so we have nothing to lose, right? Um, quit pressing the F key, doggone it. Let's grab our, our bank here. And let's also grab a... Uh, oh, I think I think my um, sugar butts are already... Oh, we gotta hurry. We gotta hurry, we gotta hurry. They're almost ready to close. We're gonna buy a grandpa's learning elixir. That's what we're gonna do. I mean, sorry, for getting a lecture. Okay, so let's quickly grab one of these and eat it. And we want... Um, the name's Jenny, but you can call me Dr. Jen. Let's see, we're going to find that in here. No, where do we find for getting a lecture? Here, let's go back to here. For... Is it in here? Yeah, it's in here. Okay, let's buy that from her. Um, yeah, that's all Remember we can Remember me afford. if you need medical supplies. Okay, cool. Yeah, so let's do a respec here. And depending upon, you know, how, how high we can go, we could potentially make um, a blue desert vulture and a blue sniper rifle. We already have a blue shotgun, so there's no point in remaking that. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's do this. So we're going to, let's put the money back in here. Don't care about the stone. Let's go ahead and throw this back. Okay. Um, put that in there. Let's eat some tacos. That makes me hungry in real life now because I haven't had dinner yet. <laughs> um, okay. So what we want to do is go here and shotgun, you know, boomstick at least level four is, is our highest priority. So for level four, we've got to have strength seven. 
So we're just going to bring strength up to six. And we have an effective seven because we have the stove in our mouth and we'll never take it out. Um, so now we can do boom, sick, level four like we had before. Um, depending upon how our points go, if we have enough points, we might even see if we can get this to level five. We'll see how things go. Okay, so the next one that I want to do is I want to get Gunslinger at least up to four as well so we can make a blue desert vulture. Um, so to do that, we're going to need level 7 in agility. And, you know, we could we could do an effective level 7, but the problem with that is if we're not wearing our agility goggles, then we don't get... You know, I mean, we could, we could wear them and make the gun, but we're not going to get Gunslinger 4 without those goggles on. Okay, so we're going to have to take this all the way to 7 so that we can take this all the way to 4. Because we want to wear our, well, normally we'd want to wear our nerdies during Horde Night for maximum XP. Not that it's going to matter anymore, but um, yeah, normally that's what we would do. Okay, so let's, we might come back to the stealth tree. Let's go to perception now, because this is, this is actually the most important tree for us uh, in terms of the overall stuff that we want. So, again, we're going to bring this all the way to 7. And we want Deadeye... Uh, how many points do we have? We have 26 left. Okay, so we want Deadeye brought up to 4, so that'll allow us to make a blue uh, sniper rifle. We want Demolitions up to 4. And... I mean, none of these... Lucky Looter, maybe, but it, because of the fact that, you know, this is the end of this... Uh, of this playthrough after you know a couple more episodes normally i would want lucky looter and salvage up too but we don't really need to do that because we're you know we're going to quit here soon this that we're going to quit the series soon so how many points we have left we have 18 points left okay what if we just trying to think what else we went back to strength for a minute. We're not going to do any more mining, so we don't care about that. Um, yeah. How about we max out our shotgun skills? So to do that, we're going to go to 9. We have an effective 10, and then we can do boomstick 5. Okay. Let's do the same thing with the, the agility tree. Because... Now that I think about it, well, we are going to use, yeah, we're going to use explosives on Horde Knight. So for the agility tree, that's going to be two, five, eight points, and then one more point for gunslinger five, which we're probably not going to do much gunslinging on Horde Knight, but we are going to use the gunslinger in the high school. So we could either put the points into that or we could put the points into perception and get maximum demolition expert i think that's going to serve us better for a horde night so yeah let's go that route and we have one point left uh i'm not sure what we would what we would put that in um If we're going to keep the AK on our toolbar, we might as well throw, I guess, throw a point into Machine Gunner. Okay, there we go. That spends all of our points. Now, if, if we were going to continue this series, I would have waited longer to, to do the respec so we have a few more points to play with. But here again, it doesn't really matter now because um, it's game over after Horde Night. Okay, so that means we could make a, a, a Blue Desert Vulture... And we can make a blue sniper rifle. So the question now is, do we have the materials to do that? I don't have any iron left in there. And no iron left in there. So we've got 75 steel here. And we've got some steel down at the horde base too. And actually, you know what? I don't think we're going to need a ton of steel for repairs. I probably have more down there than we actually need. So, let's queue up a 
A new desert vulture first. And so we're going to need 60 forged steel, so we have enough steel. We need 18 handgun parts, duct tape, scrap, and poly. Uh, okay, do we have glue? It's only going to give us 17. It said, it, it said we needed 18, right? Let's look at this again. Oh, no, we only need nine. Okay. It was the handgun parts that we need 18. So do we have 18 handgun parts? Oh, in here. Yeah, we do. Okay. So there's the handgun parts. Let's just turn all of this into duct tape. We also needed polymers, we needed springs, and what else? Handgun parts, sports steel, duct tape, polymer, and springs. Okay, so that should be everything that we need. And let's go ahead and craft ourselves a blue desert vulture. And that's going to give us a third mod slot. And in that third mod slot, we can place a extended magazine so we have more rounds uh, for the pistol. Okay, cool. Let's go in here, and we're going to just pull this stuff off. I mean, we don't even... Technically, we don't necessarily even need the silencer. I mean, it, it's useful <clears throat> because it doesn't always wake up the whole neighborhood, so to speak. Mm. If we didn't use the silencer, what else would we use instead? Uh, we'd have to make, like, a muzzle break mod, or we could put a uh, anti-rad thingamadoodle on it. But I've got that, those things on here. And we might still use the 44 a couple times more, maybe? So, yeah, let's just go with these three. <clears throat> we'll just go with those three. We'll be good. Okay, to make the... Uh, the blue sniper. We're going to need 90... Oh, shit. Yeah, we're going to need 90 things of steel and 30 things of duct tape. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to do that, guys, because, I mean, how how many times, many more times are we going to end up using this before we, we quit? So maybe we won't worry about that. Okay. Otherwise, I'm going to have to go farm up a bunch of bones... Um, well, will I? How many bones do I have? I got 101. I'd have to go get some murky water to make the glue. Um, just trying to think if it's really worth it, though. Because, I, you know, I don't think we're going to use this a whole lot more. We won't use it much indoors. We won't use it at all on Horde Night. So, yeah, it, why is it red outside? <laughs> kind of freaking me out. Um... Yeah, I don't. I don't think it makes sense for us to make a new sniper rifle. It certainly would if we were if we were going to continue the series, but we're not, you know. So, it does make sense to use this because we're going to use this a lot when we go into the high school. Okay, so I think we just wait for this to finish, and then uh, yeah, we'll take off and go do that. So I will meet you guys over at the high school, and we'll go uh, take that POI down. Wow, you guys, check this out. This was the green uh, Desert Vulture that we had, and this is the new blue one. It's got 18 more damage than this one. That, that's a huge jump. This thing is going to be a beast. It's going to be a beast. All right, let's go ahead and modify this, and we'll just pop all those things in. And then let's load her up uh, with armor piercing. And she holds 12 in the chamber. Nice. Nice, nice. Okay, let's uh, head out, and I'll see you guys over at the school. All right, <clears throat> this actually isn't uh, the school that I thought it was. Looks like it's a pretty big place, though. Dang. Okay. Um, in my 
Wasteland series that we did, there was a a school in a, a like it was like a high school, but it was unfinished uh, in in the Wasteland series. And we went through it, but it didn't have any zombies in it. And I thought that's what this was going to be, but this is actually different. And I don't think this is the normal Navisgan High School either, but I definitely have not done this POI before, so yeah, it should be interesting. This is a fetch and clear, and um, I'm not going to worry about double looting it because, again, what's the point, right? <laughs> we're going to quit after Horde Night, so we're just going to kind of go in here and have fun and, and kill zombies without being too terribly concerned about loot itself. I mean, we'll, you know, we'll... We'll check, like, the really good stuff. Um, yeah, we can look in here. What the hell? I mean, for you know, it, meds are going to be useful for sure. But we're not we're not going to get too terribly picky about loot because, again, it just doesn't matter now. So let's just kind of have some fun and check this place out. If it's med, if it's meds, I'll take it for sure. If it's anything, you know, that would potentially help us um, on Horde Night, we'll take it. Um, that we, we could get steel out of if we still cared. All right, so let's go. Which way do we go, right or straight? Let's try straight first. Okay, we got a Zeker. Let's do this. Um, yeah. Okay. Be very, very quiet. We'll check the backpack. What the hell? Drink some water. Okay, that just leads back out into that hallway there. All right. Yeah, let's go this way. goes outside. Is there anything out here? Just kind of the the back area. Okay. Got any Zekers up in the ceiling? I, don't, I think that's just a one block high, so yeah. Unless Crawler or something's up there. We wouldn't have anybody up there. I should have closed the door. Already went in there. That was the medical place. That's the nurse's office. Dang, cheerleader. You scared me. Alright, we got Mr. Biker there. Good thing that killed him, or he would have come right through the window. Oh, jeez. <laughs> it blew him over on the other side of the room. Backpack. His head's in the backpack. Yeah, we don't need any of that. Actually, you know, we could use the water. Okay. What's going on? There's a duffel bag in there. Yeah, we don't need a duffel bag. It's going to have 
a freaking empty can in it or something. Cooking pots. Ooh. Oh, wrong gun. <laughs> that isn't silenced. Somebody right outside. So this does 138 damage. This does 114. So wow, ma'am, this this weapon is so badass. It's almost as good as our our 44 Magnum, um, and it even has a silencer on it, which you know reduces the damage a little bit. I'm loving this weapon, man. We are definitely going to be sporting this uh, in the stable series once we, you know, get to the point where we can uh, obtain one. Oh, they don't see me. Dummies! I was right there. What do we got in here? There's a new one. Uh, damage against mountain lions. Nice. Bellow schematic. And we already know that one. I'd get the brass if it mattered, but it doesn't matter. Come on, boys. Ah, screw this. You guys took too long. I don't have all day. What's that? That's just a, a trash. Okay, so that uh, wraps up this uh, floor. Man, this place is so big that my my satchel icon is, like, really small until we get all the way over here. And it's upstairs anyways. So I think we're done on this floor, as far as I can tell. So let's head on up. <laughs> oh, shit. Where's that coming from? Okay. We're safe for the moment. There could be Zeke's up here. That's a two block high. Oh, and there's a ladder up there too. Down with the sickness. Down with the sickness. We were down in there before. Oh, so this is the library. Okay. Nice. Nice, nice. Oh man, look at all these all this stuff we're finding. Not that we needed either one of those two things, but we should have come in here earlier. <laughs> should have come in here earlier. Wow. That's some pretty good uh, rate of return. Every I don't think we've run into any paper at all on, on these bookshelves. They've all had a schematic in them. That's good. That's good, good, good. Okay, let's go back here. Um, oh, that's the same room. Okay. So, I guess... Yeah, where are we supposed to go from here? Where's the lights? Right here. Okay. So, ah, gotcha. I missed that, obviously. And then, oh boy, we got to take this off. So we go over here and over here. Uh, are we supposed to jump over there? Oh, yep. We got this.
Vultures? Vultures? Oh shit, there's a vulture! <laughs> that scared me. <laughs> that stung the hell out of me. Oh man. Okay. Oh shit, there's another one. Knock it off! I hate you guys. Is there another one? That's pretty decent stuff. Alright, Nurse Nancy, are you being stupid or are you stuck? Oh, there you go. Okay. Hold still, homie. Oh man, I love this. I love this weapon, you guys. <laughs> Just so awesome. So freaking awesome. Alright. <clears throat> um, is that it for the buzzards? I hope. That damn buzzards. Okay, I think so. Let's take, um, let's take one of these. Sounds like we might have a running horde down below. Okay. We're supposed to go this way? Look for the light. The light wants us to go down there. I think, isn't that where we entered in the first place? I think so. See a bunch of red dots. Go down, you feral son of a bitch. Right here, you too. Where are those guys at? They must be down below. Ah, man, we got an abrasion. Talk on it. Here, let's take the this. Oh, man! The bag's on the other side of the thing. What kind of material is this? Shit. What's this? 1,000? Alright, well, I mean, if it mattered, I'd go for it. It kind of really doesn't matter, though. <laughs> kind of doesn't matter. Alright, let's go in here. I definitely would go back and get that bag if we were going to continue, you know, the playthrough, but we're not, so it doesn't matter. I'm just checking these cabinets because, um, look at that. Uh, I need, I want to get some stuff to drink because I didn't bring, actually bring anything to drink with me. Uh, yeah, we'll drink that. Sure. <laughs> A little bit of moolah. Cafeteria. We will take those. Yeah, man. Um, the friggin' uh, auto shotgun has has competition now.
with this uh, with this pistol. <laughs> Some engine. Oh, this must be the the shop class. Yeah, we'll take that stuff. A little yellow wrench. Yeah, we don't need that. Oh, yeah, I should have turned my helmet light on earlier. Sorry, guys. Hopefully it hasn't been too terribly dark for you. Um. Oh, there's the satchel. Okay, got that done. Look at that. Shotgun turret schematic. Very nice. I'm, I'm leaving the armor parts. We're not going to use them anyway, but even if we were, I've got tons of them back at the base. So, Okay, I guess we go down now. So, yeah, let's do it. Are all of those bodies? I think they are. Oh, shit! Oh, not good! Not good, not good! I came in here thinking that it'd be a safe place to hole up, and uh, it wasn't safe in either- Why aren't you running? <laughs> Jeez Louise! We got a freaking broken leg, man! Oh well, hey look, we got one of these. Oh man, okay. Yeah. Yeah, I was thinking, we'll go in here and we'll close the door, because I figured there were Zeekers out here, but then there was, like, you know, a couple in here, too, I think, or at least one. I don't know. I got a little... I got a little, uh, freaked out there. We don't have any antibiotics on we, on us, do we? Or honey. We got beer. Eh, whatever. We'll be okay. We'll be okay. We check this... 73 gunpowder, that's not bad. Chrysanthemum. A pipe. Yeah, okay. So I think that's it for the chemistry classroom. We got a couple of Zikaruskis over there. Teacher's Lounge. Is it just me, or do you never, ever find anything good inside of refrigerators in this game? Seems like it to me. I mean, you find junk crap, like, you know, empty cans and that sort of thing, but I don't know if I ever remember finding anything good inside of a refrigerator. Uh, that's, yeah, we'll take that if for the helmet light, if nothing else. Don't care about the paper. Men's bathroom. Check that for a toilet pistol. That'd be worth selling if we cared. This is gross, man. There's the fat loots. Looks like we have a soldier Zikaruski there. And there's one over on the other side. Let's shoot this guy in the ass. All right. One less Zikaruski to worry about when we get in there. Toilet pistols. Yeah, we'll take the 9mm ammo. We've got so much ammo. It's just coming out our ears. So much ammo. <clears throat> Can we see the other zombie in there? I don't see him. Okay. That 
leads out to the back. Is that a zombie or is that something different? Yeah, this is just like sandbags. Okay. Locker rooms. Coach's office. All right, here we go. Oh, look at, oh, wow, look at that. All right, does this door close? It does, okay. All right, well, let's, um, let's see if we can take these guys out one at a time. We'll start with Big Mama. All right, she's down. Let's go with Hawaii Five-0 next. Okay, he's... He's down. And is that the last Zikaruski? I think so. Got a couple shots off on him. Which door are you going to do? This one? Your head. Uh, clear. Oh, we have more Zeekers. Return to Trader. Okay. <laughs> he was the last one. He was the last one. Trixie. Okay, cool. Uh, well, let's see what we got. Okay. Shoddy Messiah, crack a book, and another crack a book. I don't have any skill whatsoever now with sledges because we respect, so <laughs> this thing wears my stamina out like really fast. Really fast. Let's eat this just to free up another spot. We don't need this either. Okay, what do we got? Lucky Looter, Volume 5. Find more drunken loot, which means a higher quantity. Which means a higher quantity. All right. I'm glad they kind of clarified that because that was always confusing before. Is what exactly is junk? But what they mean is you just find more stuff. Okay. Good, good. Um, We got this. We're not, we don't care about the yellow quest. We've already done all those. Ooh, that's some nice stuff. We'll take all that, and then now let's check the, the big boy here. Tripod, mini bike, schematic, not... I thought we already knew that. Oh, well, we did until we respect, right. Uh, okay. Nope, that's not what I wanted to do. Press the R key, and that leaves us these things left. All of them are worth definitely getting. So, yeah... I mean, well, here's the thing. I would come back for this stuff if it mattered. <laughs> it just doesn't matter. I mean, none of this is going to help us on Horde Night. I mean, we could sell it to the trader and get some more money, but that's not going to do us any good either, so I'm just going to leave that there. All right. That's just the way it's going to be. So where's our our 4 by? It's out there. Can we break through here? Let's use our pick. The sledgehammer is just going to tank my... Stamina, and maybe we'll have a beer to help with that a little bit. Oh, that's right. We drank that, um, or not drank. <laughs> we ate, we read that book that prevents us from getting blurry vision and increases the duration of our, uh, of the beer buff. It's actually pretty nice because, you know, we get like a minute, the two was about two minutes of stamina, a minute and a half. And no blurred vision this time. Oh, excuse me, guys. Oh. Okay. There you go. 
Another thing I would have done if we were going to continue on is I would have taken this thing apart so it would have respawned because you get a lot of good loot out of, uh, or a lot of good parts, I should say, um, out of school buses. So let's go turn this in. I think this is all Trader Ginny's stuff. Yeah. Now that you have some money to spend, you're running a 10% off sale for the rest of the day. We'll just take the bandages. Um, we're going to have to drop that one. And let's, uh, 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 uh oh. I guess we didn't have to drop that one. Okay. What else do you have, Jin? This might be the very last time we take a job from you. It has to be close. Oh, Clear zombies, the best way to get old dudes. house Victorian. We, we've already done that one. We've already done that one. I'm so disappointed in you. you. Yeah, <laughs> excuse me. Oh, maybe next um, time. You know what? We'll do. Let's um. I've got an idea. I've got an idea. 